いつでもどこからでもいいぜ。Yo, what's going on, Poke Bros? Um, I think I need to talk a little bit louder uh, in this. Um, I'm not going to re-record anything because, you know. So I'll try to talk a little louder. Um, I think I'm just talking way too softly. Got a little playing juice going. Um, we're back for WWDL uh, episode three. This time we are getting the matchup between CBB, former Cryonicle, and Samkin, or Sammy. Taking a look. Um, at these two, I said in the uh, preview video that I thought CBB's team was probably the best one in his division. Um, and that opinion has not changed. Now, granted, that video was recorded maybe 30, 35 minutes ago, 40 at most. Um, so it'd be pretty unlikely to have changed, but let's take a look. Um, I can't. Uh, uh, I don't know. We got Tornado Therian, Terra Captain. I mean, what more can you say? It's fucking lightning fast. It's got Regenerator. Um, it's got U Turn. It's got uh, Heat Wave and stuff like that. Iron Treads, uh, Booster, Ban, Scarf, Leftovers, Shuka, Aka. Um, whatever the water resist berry is. I don't know. It's got a lot of things it can do. Uh, good mon, best spinner available in SVOU, I think. Even better than Tusk. I think it more accurately does its uh, work. Meowskarata, another mon that I love. Uh, Protean, insane speed tier, and a move that always crits. You can't really ask for much more than that. We saw Meowskarata in the last game, too, actually. Cool. Um, Iron Hands. Not as big a fan of this one. Uh, it does it, it does good damage, um, and it hits pretty hard, but it's just slow, and it's like you think it's a lot fatter than it is sometimes, but I don't know. I guess in draft you can EV it to live specific things, so could be good. Um, just not a Pokemon I'm a huge fan of, but Don Dozo, on the other hand, love him. Uh, Dozo is, uh, I think, such a good pick. Unaware, uh, Curse, Rest, all that nonsense. It's just going to be a pain in the ass to kill. Uh, Sammy can go, like, aim for it with, like, a band or Shifu or something like that. Saw this last game, too, actually. Um, and the Moth. Uh, but, like, Regieleki is never going to stay in, obviously. Um, so, it's going to be kind of hard, I bet, to kill this. But that that's just a gut feeling. We got Rev of Room. I despise this Pokemon because it's so fucking annoying in RU. Um, it's good, I guess, but it's so annoying. Talonflame, great budget pick. Uh, it does a lot of random shit depending on what you specifically want it to do. Anything from ban to specs to defensive, uh, Talonflame can pretty much handle it. And then we got Pseudo Wudo. I sincerely do not think he will be making an appearance uh, this game or in most of these games. But he, he looks cool doing it, so he looks cool on the bench. All right, Sammy's got the Urshifu. Uh, if I had this, I would run Banded nine times out of ten, but I guess it gets SD now, so SD Trailblaze is, is dangerous as hell. But I just love, like, imagine a Banded, uh, Terra, Dark, well, it's not Terra, but Wicked Blow. That thing, would it would kill anything. There's no fairies in this gen. Um, anyways, it's probably, it's probably Terra Banned. Um... 
Reggie Alecki, phenomenal pick. Uh, what more can you say? Giving it the ability to hit ground types just completely changed this mod's fortunes. Uh, there's no wonder it is now banned. Uh, Landris Therian, uh, Mr. OU, he uh, will present a, a fairly consistent pick. He'll be available in every game Sandy plays. Uh, a very tailorable mod. Um, can do, again, specifically what you want. If you want this coming in on Revavroom, if you want this hitting hard to not let Dondozo rest or curse or whatever, you can do all of those. Um, Iron Moth comes after that. I am a big fan of the Moth. I love this pick. Uh, just does a lot of annoying nonsense. Uh, it's kind of always going to be useful too. Like there's not a lot of mons that actually invalidate it as a Pokemon um, that you will be seeing in a draft format. So I do like this. Tinkaton is... A mon that I was in my original draft plan before I kind of wanted to go Sun, uh, I was thinking of it because it's Spideff. It's hold on, I, I left the team builder open this time. Um, yeah, look at its stats; they're pretty good. Uh, One hundred five Spideff, eighty five HP is nothing to laugh at. It's like deceptively fast too. Ninety four. It's just weak. Um, it doesn't really hit that hard, and it's always a little underwhelming, but that's why you do shit like this. Stealth Rock, um, Thunder Wave, uh, Encore, Knock Off. So you don't really care that you're not hitting all that hard with this. You're just living with this and this and to some extent this, but all right, let's go back. Quagsire, one of my most despised Pokemon ever. Um, I do not like it. I think it is... A genuinely an inferior Pokemon to the much superior Swampert. Um, it dies to everything in two, unless your opponent like consistently goes for Volt Turn, uh, Volt Switch rather on it. Magnemite gimmick pick. It's not going to do anything, and it certainly will not be brought in this matchup. And Wugtrio is mostly the same. It's just it's going to be this six. It's not going to be these two. I can promise you that. Uh, I would bet money on that. Uh, CBB, probably kind of the same idea, V6, I imagine, or Talonflame over something or other. All right, so let's take a look. Again, I don't know who wins. Um, I do, I think, a pretty good job of going, like, blind for a second when I just click in the thread. So, all right. CBB over here is Primal Force, uh, Sam S. Samkin 9000. Primal Force, uh, CBB, we've got Tornadus, uh, who did he not bring? River Room. Yeah, so it was the six, the five we knew, and then Talonflame over the, uh, car. So he's got Tornadus, Dondozo, he's got his nice little Fire, Water, Grass here with Talonflame and Masquerada. Uh, then we have the Treads and the Iron Hands, those can both be Booster Energy or really any number of things. Um, I imagine this is, I, I just think this team is really good. I think, I haven't even looked, and I think it's going to be, uh, have a good matchup here. So, Sam has, obviously, the six that we imagined, right? We don't see either of these two goofballs. So, we kind of knew that this was what was coming. Quag and Landorus form a double ground little combo they have here. Uh, I guess that would be a problem for maybe Treads. Um, two things that might want to come in on him. Uh, we have the Tinkaton, uh, as expected. I bet this is going to rocks and aim to come in on things like, uh, Tornadus maybe? Um, yeah, Tornadus, it, I guess, can hit super effective on the, uh, hands. Um, the Moth will probably be pretty useful. I'm gonna guess it's some four attack thing. Maybe booster energy, maybe not, but I mean, look, nothing really wants to come in on Iron Moth over here, so CBB is going to have to just hit it as hard as he can when he gets the chance. Um, and then the two crown jewels of this team, the two huge threats, we have Urshifu, the fighting dark version, the, the single strike or whatever. Um, that is going to have a field day as long as it doesn't touch the... Does Wicked Blow touch? How do I tell? Um, oh, I, whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know if it makes contact or not. 
Um, but if it does, he's going to want to avoid touching the Talon Flame because that might be Flame Body. Um, and then a Regieleki is going to turn into a type that can probably hit treads and go wild. Uh, because, yeah, what electric, like, how do you stop electric attacks? You, you don't. Uh, once the treads gets, like, terra watered or something. All right, so let's get started. We got hands, we got a lecky. Volt does next to nothing. As the quag comes in, ice punch chips it. Oh, freeze, okay. We're off to a start. Um, he takes the rocky helmet as he hards into Meowsk. I like that play because why take rocky if you're gonna keep touching this? Tinkaton comes in, I guess it does resist both uh, grass and dark but i'd imagine if it has it this mouse is either spiking or you turning no flower trick okay no, oh okay that's why i didn't realize that it would do that much um 54 we get another one 35 yeah this is fucking nuts protein is cool t spikes okay sam makes a nice play um he calls that uh, he was going to switch there. Torn comes out. Yeah, that's more like it. Does this rest? No, it just knocks. Knocks the Shuka. Shuka makes sense considering. Spins the uh, T spikes away. Knocks the lander. So he's given up this if he doesn't want it. But. Ooh, this is good. It's keeping pressure on the landerist. EQ comes out. Um, sub is cool. I like that. It was Salic. Oh, some Salic. Very cool. Miascarad is going to claim one here. But now the moth will come out. And it has to aim at this. So what does he go for? Sludge wave? Fire blast. And he goes to Torn instead. But it, is that a V? It did nothing. Terra ground. Terra blast. Oh. That's kind of a good game, actually, right there. Because this was this was his best his, this was his best Pokemon like by a long shot actually, nothing came in on it. All right, well, good game. Hardened to the Dozo on the Urshifu. Yeah, it does take a ton, but it doesn't really even matter. Probably gonna like Wave Crash or something. Ooh, that is a great play. Especially because I I might have <laughs> fucking CC'd again. You have to play for a choke as Sam here. Um, Mass comes in. Yeah, that's going to claim. The Moth, hardened to the flame. That's not going to do anything, I bet. U-turn. Taunt. Okay, Quagsire comes back, but something is still going to die here. Uh, nah, I guess you don't go for it, because why risk it? That does a good amount. Roost? Wisp. I, wow. Good call. Taunt on the rocks. <laughs> Brave Bird? Yep, good game. CBB starts the season off with a victory, 1-0. Good job. Uh, again, I really do like his team, and this showed why. He just clicks buttons, and something gets killed every other turn. Um, the Aleki death. Let's review that play. All right, so he got the Torn in, takes that. So he's fearing a... Like, because Sam was taken aback by Terra Ground, but he knows this is the Terra Captain. What was he expecting? U-turn? I, I don't even know. Well, that was the right there, because if he had this, like, let's say he bin the Quagsire, the frozen Quagsire, right? Just threw it out. Then he goes into a Lucky. Oh, maybe... If he's Terra Ice, he could Terra Ice into this. 
if he's not terra ice he might be terra water right for ground steel which also he could do here <laughs> and then it's not like he can go to anything to resist it because he just bolts out afterward yeah i don't know unfortunately that um turn 13 kind of decided everything in one go um cbb takes holding the win all right peace